Jones. I know very little, but I, I do have a big head. Yeah. No. You don't have anything to tell me. Where, where do you think you go when you die? Um, nowhere. Like nothing else. Why do you believe that? Science. Science tells you you go nowhere when you die. What's a piece of hope you guys are feeling? Good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Kirk. It takes more faith to be an atheist than a Christian. Okay. This is going to be amazing. Like, this is really going to be amazing. According to Charlie Kirk, the girl of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. So, How you seem you? rather fired up. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? I'm Opal. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. What do you want to talk about? What do you believe? I don't know. What do you believe in? Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Question. Yeah. Do you expect when for you to say that that I'm gonna disrespect you because of your beliefs? No, no. I just uh, I, I don't know your religious views. Okay. I could guess, but I don't know. I'm not religious. I don't I haven't found a religion yet. Oh, uh, okay. Unless you want to recommend something to me. I recommend Christianity. It's okay, pretty so awesome. Like a pamphlet or something? Uh, a Bible. Uh, you could download the Bible yeah. app. No, but I want it from you. You no. know so much. Sorry. Yeah. I want from you. You know so much. I know very little, but I, I do have a big head. Yeah. No. You don't have anything to tell me. Where, where do you think you go when you die? Um, nowhere. Like nothing else. Why do you believe that? Because I'm science. Science tells you you go nowhere when you die. Okay. Well, can you explain if you think? Yeah. What do you think happens? How do you think that works when we die? The science behind it. Well, actually, neuroscience has over twenty-five thousand different pieces of evidence to show people have afterlife experiences okay. in just the last decade. Okay. Every real, every civilization in the history of the world has believed in an afterlife oh, yeah. or a god. Oh, yeah. Why is science right now and everyone else is wrong? Because they didn't have the science and the modern technologies that we have now. So what discovery has disproven the afterlife? Um, probably scientific, but no one can actually confirm because unless you're coming back to life, then nobody can confirm that yet. So you can't disprove it. And you can't prove it either. So it takes faith. Yeah. I have faith. Yeah, and I don't. And you know what? If you think that that's going to happen, then that's fine. Okay. I'm not so, mad at you for So that. how did the world come into existence? The Big Bang. So the Big Bang, so so so, who, so the Big Bang made space, time, and matter. What started the Big Bang? No one knows. Not God. Well, but the, the laws of physics mean that there must but how be a. How God get there? I'm confused. That's a genuine. Like everybody but, but, says, but God, God came first. But God always is. There? But how did it get there? There's that's no. My question. That's a good question. Okay. So so, so Christianity would argue that it is is. The Alpha and the Omega, it always is. But the universe had a starting point. So therefore, whatever made the universe predated the universe. That's God, isn't it? If you believe in the Big Bang... You say that's a lot of different things, but why does it always have to come back to God? Well, whatever you can call it, you could call it the idea of God. But if you believe in the Big Bang, which you say you did, it means that space, time, and matter had a beginning, which means that something made that beginning happen. Do you believe in the Big Bang happening? Yes, I believe God started the Big Bang. He so spoke it into existence. He spoke it into existence. Yes. I'm just still confused on how this Well, works. because look, the first words of my Bible are the same of your view okay. in the beginning. Okay. You what believe the Big Bang was the beginning. I believe in a Big Bang. Okay. So maybe God made it happen. Or, but what's your explanation? I don't have an explanation because I don't study science, but I don't study faith. Okay, that's fair enough. You know? So I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna put bullshit on my ass to tell no, you. No, that, that, that's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, whenever I say an atheist, like it takes more faith to believe. Like it takes more faith to be an atheist than a Christian. You see, whenever it comes to people who are atheists, I see them as people who have um some people. Some of them have terrible background, and they are confused. Um. This world we, we, we are in, everyone says prove it. Nothing just start on its own. There was something who formed something to start. There was a beginning. Nothing just in this entire world, nothing start on its own. There's always a beginning. And the first word in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. Like it's 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 really shocking on how people still don't believe 
Christianity in God? You don't believe in any religion, even Buddhism believes in something. Muslims believe, Christians believe. <laughs> then you tell me you don't believe in anything. It's 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 really really shocking. That you, you feel like when when you die you are going nowhere. See, everyone one thing that God gave us is choice, free will, to make your own decision. So I'm I'm not a judge, but even my Bible says you should judge no one. I'm not perfect myself, but at the day of judgment, we shall know who is at the right side. It's as simple as that. But I feel like it is. Let's let just let's dig deep into their life, into faith, because nothing ever starts on its own. Nothing ever starts on its own. And the entire world we live in, even the Big Bang Theory. I know this, the person who came about such theory believe in the faith, believe in a God, believe there is something that was, something that created, something that started, the, that made the Big Bang theory to start. There is a God that started every single thing. Um, this atheist right here, she's, she's speaking as someone who's confused. My own opinion, she's speaking as someone who's confused. And Charlie is proud to be a Christian and he's very, very eager to spread the word of God and introduce more people to Christ. And I'm very happy that I'm a Christian. And St. Charlie a Christian gives me goosebumps because I have I see like a brother who is spreading the word of God more to people. And that is something that I would love to do my own self to spread the gospel to the entire world for people to see who Jesus Christ really is who God really is and how this world was created and the Bible itself, the power in the Bible, the Christian faith, the Christian lifestyle, what it actually means in your life and where you are going to after entered, when you are dead. There is somewhere you are going to. You, don't, you just don't die just like that. There is somewhere you are going to. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales.